Welcome, Aaron here, Simon Says Farms, and I figured I would do a live version of cleaning out the duck pond for you with our duck pond draining option. So as you see here, right here, we have a beautiful tree that mom bought. Mom, what's the name of this tree? It's a Pinky Winky Hydrangea, yep. And then a duck pond that looks like poo right now because it's been a couple days. So it's been about five, six days. And all we have to do is back up to this hole down here and a huge four inch slice valve, gate valve, whatever you want to call it. You pull that, you say hi to the dog. And then you come back over here and watch it drain. There it goes. It's just going to drain itself out and it drains out that way somewhere. We go down this way and right around there somewhere it drains out into the area. The goat that's screaming and yelling is in heat. So that'll be a new video coming up soon. But you guys are here for ducks. So we've got Peking ducks here. Yes, this is food, but they're pets too. We keep a bunch. We harvest a bunch. We eggs. We grow our own food here. That's what we do. So and we educate. So once this starts to drain, we will spray down those walls. We've got a short hose here, right here on our splitter. Hang on, this around. So we have a splitter here with a whole bunch of hoses going all over the place. So this water works. Actually in the winter, what we do in the winter is we uh, take this whole splitter off and only go here. We will close this whole thing down in the winter. It won't even be hooked up it'll be empty we're actually going to create like a wood deck to go over the top so the ducks can still walk around and then we'll have to set up the winter setup because they're not allowed to have their pond in the winter because it'll freeze and crack and all that kind of stuff so if i can untangle my stupid hose sorry a little aggression there there we go now we got my hose starting to drain let's clean it out so we got the pond all cleaned out it literally takes about like three minutes to drain and then spray it all out it got a little clogged with a couple duck feathers but that's no big deal and now what i'm going to do is come back to the drain here's the drain i'm going to come back to it i'm going to go three times down up down up down and then we're going to leave it down so that, just in case some dirt or gunk of some kind got stuck in where the slice goes in and out, it kind of just makes it so it's a better seal. And that whole time I left the water running, so it's flowing and cleaning out the drain. And now it's going to refill itself. And that takes a little while. It's 125 gallons. And then we're just a garden hose, so at what, five gallons a minute? I don't know, it's going to take a little bit. So we're going to sit you back down and come back. Super happy ducks. Unfortunately, I overflowed it, but it just drips down the wall here. That's it. So it's not bad. I overflowed it. I forgot about it. We were busy in the goat barn. So that's it. That's the duck pond. That's how easy it is to switch it over without this. I probably wouldn't have ducks. They were getting so hard to clean their water and they splash tons of water out all the time. So we're constantly adding water every day. But uh, they love it. That's it. You got any duck questions, hit the comments buttons below. Subscribe, follow. We've got ducks, pigs, chickens, goats, you name it. We've got it pretty much. Well, no, we don't have alpacas or llamas or sheep or none of that stuff. No donkeys, no camels, no cows. Never mind. We don't have everything. Hit the buttons down below. Subscribe and follow. And thanks for watching.